And I think that the part of it that is generational is that millennials and people and, you know, Gen Z and all these folks that come after us are looking up and we're like, the world is going to end in 12 years if we don't address climate change. And your biggest issue is your your biggest issue is how are we going to pay for it? Mm -hmm. And like, this is the war. This is our World War II. Mm -hmm. And it, it, I think for younger people, we're looking at this and we're like, how, how are we saying let's take it easy mm -hmm. when 3,000 Americans died last year? How are mm -hmm. we saying let's take it easy when the nth person has just uh, died from, from our cruel and unjust criminal justice system? Mm -hmm. How are we saying take it easy when the America that we're living in today is so dystopian with people sleeping in their cars so that they can work a second job without health care and we're told to settle down, mm -hmm. I don't, it's a, it's a fundamental uh, separation between, mm -hmm. you know, the, that fierce urgency of now, the mm -hmm. why we can't wait mm -hmm. that King mm -hmm. spoke of, mm -hmm. um, that at some point these chronic realities do reach a breaking point. Mm -hmm. And I think for our generation, it, it's reached that. And I wish I didn't have to be, you know, doing every post, but sometimes I, I, I just feel like people aren't uh, being held accountable. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. until we all start pitching in and holding people accountable, I'm just gonna let them have it. <laughs> 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 so it's um